Hi everybody, this is Chilisa. Thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel. Thank you to everybody who's listening in the podcast. It is Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. It's the last day of the month. I will hope everybody had a great July 2024. Um, Days are going very fast, you guys. And as we get closer and closer, as we are living in the last days, we're going to hear so many of these crazy stories, guys, that once you know once you read them and you learn about them it's actually very hard to believe that this happened to somebody okay before i continue i just want to say thank you to um all of you guys who've been subscribing on youtube thank you so much for subscribing that really helps me and everybody who follows me on spotify really means a lot and i emphasize the spotify followers because when i first started on spotify it was just so hard to even get people to listen there and and now to see that, you know, people are listening and not only that, they're following the, the podcast really means a lot. So please, if you want to help me, you can follow me on Spotify. But I also offer subscription to the podcast for just, uh, I believe it's one ninety nine a month. So if um, you wanted to help uh, what I do here, that would be a really big help. Also, if you guys, as you guys know, I'm a fashion designer. So if you want to check out um, the creations that I do, the brand Julissa Designs brand, you can shop online, Julissa Designs that shop, or just go to the main website, which is julissadesigns.com, and you'll be able to see the collections. You know, I make jewelry, clothing, and accessories. And also, everybody who's subscribing on YouTube really means a lot to me. Thank you so much, everybody who subscribes on YouTube. But before I continue to tell you what happened, um, regarding the story, I want to do a disclaimer. This, like I said, this case is really hard to like um to know about. Is everything that I, when I started reading, I have to pause for a moment. I, I couldn't believe that somebody actually went through that. So I just want to give you a trigger warning. Um, uh, from you know, after I tell you what happened to this woman, and I just want to give you a trigger warning. Uh, so if you get affected by this or something, if you get very sensitive, I would suggest probably not watch this video and not listen to it. So thank you so much, everybody, once again. So once I already gave you the, the trigger warning, but this story is very shocking, guys. Like I said, as we get closer to the second coming of the Lord, we are going to see so many of these cases where you can tell how the enemy is operating, Okay. We know when we hear a case like this that people, the love of people for humanity is basically disappearing, okay? This woman was tied up on a tree in the forest for 40 days, guys. She was definitely left there to die. And thanks be to God, this woman was rescued. I'm going to tell you all the details and everything. Um, this woman was rescued, but you see the photos and how they found her. I mean, she's she also like not only did she experience a uh, lack of food for forty days, um, almost to to death, um, but she you know being tied up to a tree like an animal. I mean, it's just so crazy. Like I told you guys, it's a very hard story, but I wanted to share it because, um, like I said, when we hear a story like this. It's almost like wow, that actually somebody actually went through that. The love of of many will grow cold. That's what the Bible says. This story is, it's like wow, there it was a complete disregard to human life here. So this woman was tied up by her husband in a tree in the forest in India, and she was left to die for forty days. And some some um, you know the people that care for for the forest, they found her. They alert the police, and then, you know, she was rescued and speak to God. But you can see in the photos, her condition is very, was very terrible, obviously, for somebody to be left out there um, to die, basically. People have, when you see a story like this, you, you know that there's a, there's a lack of fear of the Lord in this world. And it's just so crazy. Let me read to you guys briefly. The American woman who was found chained to a tree in in India, um, said that she came to India a decade ago to learn yoga and meditation. Um, 
She was learning yoga in Tamil Nadu, and there she met a man who um, they got married and settled there. She was living in India for 10 years. The duo, however, had a fallout over the past few months. The woman identified as Lalita Kai was residing in, in Goa, which is around 30, 30 miles from the forest where she was found. On Tuesday, the police say an attempt an attempt murder case was registered against Kai, uh, her husband, former husband. The case was locked based on a note found in the woman's bag, which she had written, written former husband. After the police rescued her on a piece of paper, she wrote, because that's how they were able to communicate with her. I mean, this woman was so weak by being out in the forest for so long. So they gave her like a paper so she was able to cry, like, how did she get there? Who tied her to the tree? She said it was her ex-husband who tied her, who brought her there and tied, it, tied her to a tree and basically left left her to die. I just, I can't, this is so crazy, you guys. Um, And, you know, speaking about that, you know, um, the... God emphasizes so much about caring for your for your wife, right? Caring for for, um, you know, talking to the to the man and how he should be treating the wife. And this man left his wife there to die for forty days, like basically, you know, tie, tying her up. And like, how do you live? That tells you guys that there's the lack of fear of the Lord. Like I said, there's the lack of 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 like my like wow, like. Do you know that one day you're going to answer to the Lord what you've been doing? And people think that nobody sees it, you know, I'm going to come to the forest. I'm going to be here up probably, tie her to a tree. I'm just going to walk away. And not only walking away, but walking away, probably hearing her screaming. Like, why are you leaving me here? And thinking that they're just, he's just going to get away with it. Nobody's going to find her. It's going to take years. You know, she's living here. It's basically, you know, there's so many things, too, that I just, God just brought this to my attention. Think about this, too. In the past, like, few months, we learned about two cases already, probably three, of American tourists, I guess you can say, that had gone overseas, right, to yoga retreats. And maybe, perhaps, there's no connection there, okay? I, I get it. But I can't help but to like mention this because talking about Taylor Casey, talking about Nancy Yen, who went missing um, back in the fall last year, right? Went to a yoga tree by herself, uh, retreat by herself, and never came back. Uh, Taylor Casey, same thing, hasn't been heard from her. And then I think it was last week I made a bit about um in the same retreat that she that Taylor Casey went missing ten years ago, another man went there for yoga classes and he never came back home. And it's like, what is it? You know, I kept saying in the video, what is it with these yoga retreats? What are they teaching there? What is the communication? What is their lingo? Like what what do these people talk about in the classes? Because it's definitely some type of silencing going on. You bring these people overseas to to learn yoga and then some of them not even return home, and then the show was the show must go on. Like we talk about, talking about human human life here, you can just like disregard and continue on, right? So this woman, right, the one that was found uh, chained to a tree, she went to India to study yoga and met somebody and got married and li lived there for ten years. Then they had a fallout. I mean, you will think. I mean, just me, like, I, I, I'm an immigrant here in this country, too. Like, of course, maybe now it's kind of hard to say because I've been living here for so long. But um, you will think you went there and you met somebody, you started a life for 10 years. Things didn't work out. Somebody will be like, you know, are you going to go back home? Maybe you go back home. But this man, for like went and brought her to the forest and tied her to a tree and left her to die thinking that she has probably no family nobody's going to be looking for her because she's in a whole different country and if they call her she's going to say oh she's doing great and it's like are you serious like what is going on to people's mind these days so crazy you guys 
So they're saying that she's out of danger now, but they can totally tell that she has some psychological problems. It's very obvious. Um, I don't know. They're not, you know, they're not really giving much detail about her health. But we understand that loneliness, not only that, but suffering like, um, excuse me, suffering like um, hunger, right? Being in the forest, right? Being hungry, basically to, to, to the point that you're probably dying already. And being alone, going through the trauma of being tied to a tree, like complete disregard to your humanity, okay? You, you're tied up to a tree. You, don't by your husband, right? He he actually left her passport there. That's how they were able to identify who she was right away. And thanks be to God for that because it could have taken a while, right? Because obviously some psychological problems, she psychiatric problems she also has gone through by being left there alone. And then like, you know, like, they're saying she's out of danger, but she's going to have to get some treatment. But also one thing that I heard somewhere that they said that there was some medication found also near her. So meaning that she was taking medication. It says here, authorities in India say they have rescued a woman who was found em emaciated and tied to a tree in a jungle after allegedly being left there to die. Police in a district near Mumbai, India, say there they rescue Lalita Kai Kumar. She's only 50 years old, you guys. And I'm I don't know if I'm gonna put a photo here for uh, people watching on the video, but if you see her photo, like, you can search for this story if you're strong enough to see it. She's 50 years old, and if you see her photo, she's so weak, you guys. It's, it's so crazy. Um, but again, guys, her name is Lalila or Lalita Kai Kumar. And it says here, a shepherd heard her cry in the jungle over the weekend. Wow. That's, I mean, I just, just reading that, I just thought of something, you know, the Lord is my shepherd. I should not want. So the shepherd heard her cry. And that tells you guys that for this woman to have been rescued, this man, like her husband, though, you know, I'm just nobody care about her. She's in a whole different country. I'm going to tie her up, going to take her humanity away, take her humanity away, tie her to a tree, leave her there to that. And you know what? God also just reminded me, 40 days, the number 40 has a lot of meaning. Leave her there on day 40. The shepherd walking around the jungle hear her cry. The Bible says, "The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want it. And they heard her cry, and they immediately went to her and notified police. And that, do you know? Like I just, I just, God just revealed that to me. You know that the Lord was right there with her on day forty. He sent the shepherd to help her, and. Thanks be to God. That tells you guys that that God is there, and praise be to God. I, you know, now I just get so emotional just even saying that because we know, we know. Like you see, you know, you see the mark of the Lord. Just as we so so quick to able to see when the the uh, an enemy the enemy is operating in somebody, we're so able to pick that up because we see we see the the hey, you know. Um, the hate, the heartless, the coldness, the, you know, everything that's evil, we, we know how to waste the enemy. When we hear stories like this and we hear about the 40 day on day 40 and the shepherd heard her cry, we know that's the Lord. That's the mark of the Lord being there with her. For her to survive 40 days tied up. Like, what is the weather like over there? Not even able to eat, not even able to drink, not even able to have anything for 40 days. And this woman survived. You know that's the Lord right there. So keep her in your prayers again. Her name is um, Lalita. Did I say that already? 
that's yeah um let me give you the right name so you guys can keep her in your prayers okay lalita kai kumar 50 years old is the woman who was rescued after being tied up to a tree in india and left there to die in the forest in india left there to die but on day 40 the shepherd heard her cry and got her went to her and got her help immediately praise be to god you guys i hope that any family that she might have here in the u.s um is able to come to her and just probably bring her back and i hope they get this guy and you know i really hope this this man comes to repentance for what he have done and you know it's just crazy so let me know what you guys think about this story thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel thank you so much to everybody who listens in the podcast have a good day god bless